September 28th and 29th, Wednesday and Thursday. So the sun is in Libra and the moon is one sign ahead in Scorpio. And Venus is in Libra. Such a sweet... When you have a Libra Scorpio, who I know someone with this combination, they're deep and they're relationship oriented and at worst they're codependent because the whole nature of Libra is, can I blend with you? Can I dance with you? Can I partner? Can we get a bicycle built for two? It's the codependence thing. When you know you first fall in love and you glue yourself to that person and you just can't get enough and really you're falling in love with yourself because they're making you feel so good, that's Moon and Scorpio. Moon and Scorpio is the energy that can really go deep. However, at worst Wednesday and Thursday, it can go really deep and dark and scary. Like Moon and Scorpio, people People call me and go, I'm just feeling grumpy. I can't find my words. And there's a fixed T-square. We have Uranus and Taurus right opposite the moon in Scorpio. And it's squaring Saturn and Aquarius. And the whole thing releases. Whenever there's a T-square, there's three planets, all 90 degrees. And then the fourth point would be, if there was a planet there, would fill it up. But there's an empty spot. And that's Leo energy. So if you're feeling that deep Scorpio energetic where you feel dramatically sad, but you hold it in, use the Leo energy to ask for help, to say, I'm feeling sad. Depression, suicidal thoughts, not liking to be here, moon and Scorpio, with the T-square, with Uranus opposite the moon, it's very electric, it can be very uncomfortable, and Saturn trying to get you. It's so important to ask for help. There's nothing wrong with saying everyone alive has a degree of depression. You can't be in this existence knowing that there's refugees, that there's climate crisis, that there's incredible pain in people's bodies. It's such a crazy place. So if you're not feeling depressed, I get a little worried. On the other hand, that release in Leo means I can speak to it. I can say I'm a little grumpy. When someone says, how are you today? You can say, I watched Deborah's videos. I'm going to tell the truth. The moon's in Scorpio. I'm not feeling great. I feel sad. I feel scared. I feel like I'm lonely. Wow. When a Libra Scorpio says the word lonely, it opens the door to vulnerability. I don't know why we're all so scared to be honest, but it is a very funny game here. So I encourage you during this moon in Scorpio, Wednesday and Thursday, see if you can't use the Leo T-square release and that deep emotional body to be transparent, to be honest, to be real. It makes life so much juicier when we're transparent and we take off the shield. And then people just really like you because you're real, not because you're pretending. Libras can pretend and Scorpio shh, can be secret keepers. Permission Wednesday and Thursday to just bring it up and out. Astrology answers wanted me to tell you that. Every astrologer gets asked the same question. What's going to happen next? And you go to the professional, but I can give you the shortcut so you can do it for yourself. It's called the Progress Moon. It's a small, simple way to get there for advanced or beginners. We all want to know what's the rhythm, what's the season, what's the element that's ruling you. Learn about your Progress Moon. Just click in the link in the description and we'll send you the Progress Moon Guide.